Hey everybody, welcome back to the Philly Picker YouTube channel. Today's going to be a short video of nine items that I sold over the last few days on eBay. I had a total of nine sales for $481. Um, the first three items, I'm going to put pictures up on the screen. Um, I had already got them uh, packed up and uh, sent out already. I just didn't have time to film a video um, before I needed them uh, to be in the mail. So anyway, the first three items I'm going to go over, they're going to have pictures up on the screen. And then the last six items, um, I still have with me that I'm going to pack up and ship after this video. So let's get started with the first. It's a Scotty Cameron, um, cover that goes on your putter. Um, I didn't know anything about these, uh, how valuable these items were. Um, I was at an estate sale probably about a, a little over a month ago, and um, the guy had tons of golf clubs. But off to the side, there was a box that had a bunch of uh, covers that go on top of your putter. Um, they were in a box. Uh, I think there were six of them in there. There was a tag on it for $35. Um, people were, other people were there. It was packed. They were all interested in the golf clubs and... Uh, the golf balls that the guy had, but uh, I found this box. I looked up one of them. I saw what it was worth. Um, I took the whole box up and uh, paid for them right away um, and actually took them out to my car. I didn't want to leave them sitting around inside there. So I paid $35 for six of them. This is the last one I had. Um, like I said, I knew nothing, nothing about them. Um, through some research that I did, online um a lot of times these uh putters the actual putter and the covers there uh there's a lot of counterfeits out there um i did a little bit of research and found out that the ones that i did have they were um legitimate they were real um you can tell by the tag and some other things in them the stitching and the quality you can tell um but anyway i actually accepted an offer for 125 dollars with free shipping. So I was excited to see that, uh, that item go. Um, so now anytime I do go to an estate sale or I do go to uh, thrift stores or anything like that, I do keep an eye out for these, uh, these things. So maybe you can find them in your area. There's a lot of them that are worth even more than the $125. Um, so keep an eye out for that. The next item that I have up is 10 pounds of loose Legos. I took an offer on this also. I think I had them up for $50. I took an offer on it for $35 plus shipping. It's actually going to um, Canada. So I had already had them packed up. I just filled up a priority box and it was roughly a little over 10 pounds. So it shipped off, it shipped out at an 11 pound rate. Um, it only cost me, I think around $12 because it only went to the, uh, the global shipping center. So I was happy to see them go. I don't exactly know how much I had into that item. They were just Legos that I picked up, you know, here and there. And then finally I was tired of looking at them and uh, just filled a big box of them. So I accepted an offer for $35 on that one. The next item that I have up is one is an Avalon Hill squad leader game. I sold that for $99.98 plus shipping. So for $3 into it, that was a really good sale. Um, so the next six items I do have here, I'm going to uh, pack up after um, I'm done with this uh, video and get it shipped out. Um, first item I have up is a department, department 56. It's a tiny Tim figure. Um, I don't remember how much I have into these. Maybe like $2. I think I bought a lot of them at a flea market um, not too long ago. I did sell a couple of them, of them so far. But this one sold for $19.98 with free shipping. The next item that I have up is a uh, Bushnell. Um it's a, it's, it's a scope and a mini tripod. It's basically used for when you're at the gun range and you're trying to sight your rifle in. Um, 
it's pretty old. It doesn't have a date on it, but um, I picked this up at a, a, a garage sale. Um, I think I had five hours into it. I uh, sent out an offer to a watcher, and uh, I sent out an offer for $64.98 with free shipping. So it was never used. It's still sealed in the box. Um, so the box is in pretty poor shape, though. I did disclose all that in the listing. So I'm happy to see that go out. I had five hours into it, and I sold it for $64.98. Um, actually... I sent out a few offers um, this week on uh, a bunch of items. I usually don't do it. I should do it a, uh, a lot more, but it seems like it worked uh, worked this week. Um, so next item up is this uh, Woody. Uh, it's a talking Woody with a pull string. It does work. I do have his hat. Um, I had this up for 35 hours. And I sent out an offer to watchers on this one also for uh, $29.98 plus shipping. And um, it was accepted. So I think I have $3 into this. I picked this up at a uh, Goodwill a few months back. I actually did sell that. Um, and it was actually returned. Uh, the buyer that returned it said that it wasn't what he was looking for. So... I did just accept the uh, accept the return and relisted it. Took about another three or four weeks to sell, but I did sell it. It was uh, so I'm happy to see that go. So the next item that I have up is this another um, Avalon Hill game. This one's called uh, D Day. This wasn't as valuable as the last uh, two games that I sold. Um, this um, this game was. It was used. I did uh, count all the pieces. Uh, that took me a little while to do. Uh, the box is in pretty rough shape, as you can tell. So I listed this for $29.98 plus shipping, and that's what I got on it. It was up for a few weeks, um, but I only have $3 into it. The next item that sold for me is this ornament. It's uh, of the Godfather. It was new in the package. I actually put the batteries in there. They were separate in there. And it talks. It says a couple phrases on there from the movie. Um, so I had this up for, I think, around $30. And I accepted an offer for $20 plus shipping. So I think I only have a couple dollars and it is $2 or so into it. Um, I picked it up at a Goodwill. So that's another good sale. I have a couple more uh, of those ornaments in my store. So hopefully within the next few days, they'll sell. If not, I guess I'm just going to have to hold on to them for next year. I have one more item that's sold. And this is a pair of um, Sanook. I think that's how you say it. Um, size 8.5. Um, they're slip-ons. Men's size 8.5. Uh, um, American flag on them. I think I picked these up for a few dollars at the um, Goodwill, um, and they sold for twenty dollars and ninety-eight cents plus shipping. So it took a while for these to sell. Um, I had these in the store for a couple months. I figured they would sell in the summertime, but they never did. And then I ended up putting these on um, sale. So they ended up finally selling, which I'm happy to see. Overall, these were the nine items that sold for me. Um, they sold for Thursday until Monday. It's Monday afternoon now. I have to get the rest of these items uh, packed up and shipped out. I appreciate everybody that stopped in to check out this video. Also, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel. I usually put out, uh, I try to put out a couple sold, what sold videos a week. And if I do get out sourcing during the week, I try to put out a haul video of what uh, I picked up. So if you are into those kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also give the uh, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also feel free to leave a comment below. I love interacting with uh, the viewers that check out these uh, videos. Um, thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.